Welcome to the Snow Show, brought to you by Snow Seekers with your host, Doc Powell. Live like a local these next few minutes and get inspired to why you should choose this destination for your next winter adventure. Step into the snow and make the call on what's best for you. Each week, Doc Pow discovers these destinations with the help of some friends. Let's meet this week's guide. Sean McCarron is a level four ski and snowboard instructor who spent 41 seasons of teaching on snow. He's also head coach for the Jasper Free Mountain Team and inventor of the Stance Fine Machine. I've uh, come back to Marmot now for about, uh, this is my third season here, and uh, I think uh, one of the things about Marmot is it's a bit, of a, a bit of a hidden gem really, because the more time you spend on the mountain, the more places you find. And it's easy to come to a ski area like Marmot that has, uh, you know, very good vertical really, but lots of tree stuff, and actually you miss things. And then once you actually take the time to explore, it's a mountain that certainly keeps drawing you back because of it. It's big enough that it spreads everybody out. So even on a busy day, you know, the only time you notice crowds, of course, is if you're staying on a main trail or when you're in the lift line. But with high speed lifts, the lift lines disappear very fast and uh, everybody's out and moving in, in no time at all. And when you've got this kind of terrain, you feel good about being on the mountain. Then you go into a town at the end of the day that is happy that you've had a great day too. You know, it's, uh, it's definitely some kind of a karmic um, cyclical event that happens on a day-to-day uh, you know, day -day basis on the snow. We've got a huge solid base in the lower area. And we're good right till the end of the season. The confirmed closing is May 1st, so we're going right into May this year. That's a Sunday, and as you know, we always have good snow right through to the end of the season. So it's going to be a nice, long, sunny spring for us. That's when the skiing is some of the best skiing of the year. Just the, barbecues and you know the smell of the trees, the sap starts to run and you really get that feeling of being outside in the spring and the skiing and snowboarding is just, it's my favorite time of the year. April, I love April. The smells, the sounds, the people, it's, it's a really fun time. Whatever time of the year, getting set for a big day in the mountains is complete with a yoga class. And what better a setting than within the mountain galleries found at the Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge. I think the most amazing thing is finishing on the hill in Jasper specifically. I mean, as soon as you go into town, there's tons of activities, you know, going on all the time. And, um, you know, specifically, if you've just done a big physical day, it makes sense to do some kind of physical warm down. But a lot of people, I think, when they finish, obviously, if they're tired, they just sort of tend to retire to a room and not come out anymore. And if you just take those extra few moments to look around, you realize that there's something there for everybody. But remember, skiing and snowboarding and telemarking, it's a physical sport, so do a physical warm down. Do something that's good for you. Do a bit of stretching before you go out for your meal. Do a, a yoga class, you know. Enjoy what you've got and, uh, and feel really that you are actually part of the environment because everything feels good and calm and easy and natural. You know, I certainly felt by the end of the day, I felt rejuvenated by it, but certainly a little bit more energized. This energy spills right through town and into its dining and nightlife options. A stop at the Dead Dog within the Astoria Hotel will not steer you wrong. So we make everything. We bake our own breads, make our own soups, sauces, you know, all of the things that come out of that kitchen are made here. My grandfather's brother, Paul, built this hotel in 1925. Sunday night at the Dead Dog, which is we're here now, you know, nine dollars for a steak dinner. I mean, you can't buy a piece of steak for nine dollars. So, you know, for me, like that's just a great sort of weekend finisher specifically. So you arrive at happy hour, a couple of glasses of wine and a, a nine dollar steak dinner and you're not even paying twenty dollars. You know, so it's value for money. The thing about Jasper is people come here and they do feel like a local even for the few days that they're here. Thank you for checking out the Snow Show. For more on this destination and dozens more, check us out online at snowseekers.ca. Chances to win lift tickets, getaways, and lots of deals on your next winter vacation can be found at snowseekers.ca.